<laughs> 200 San Diego kids are the proud owners of new bikes, thanks to prison inmates. As our tennis reporter Amanda Brandeis explains, the event teaches both children and the convicts that good behavior pays off. It's time to add the final touches to the hundreds of bikes ready for a home. Does anybody know what a correctional facility is? The kids wait patiently, ranging from first through fifth grade. They're here because they earned it, behaving well at school and working hard. Make them be a better citizen. None of the kids own bikes until today. Make this one your bike. I'm going to write your name on it. Inmates at Donovan Correctional Facility raise the money themselves, over $15,000 to purchase the bikes, helmets, and locks. You want that one? Yeah, you're welcome. Two inmates with the best behavior attended the event at the Salvation Army Croc Center. Yeah, certain decisions got me where I am, but better decisions that I made since then have put me exactly where I am in the fire department and on my way out the door. Andrew Breckenridge is 10 days away from getting out of prison. Oh, it feels great. I mean, I can't describe the feeling seeing the smiles on these kids' faces. When they behave, we reward them also. And what that is, means is they have the ability to go home. And not just go home, but have the ability to succeed when they go out in society. Once seats are adjusted and training wheels taken off for some, the kids can take their bikes home. Okay, thank you so much. No we problem. appreciate it. Serving as a reminder to continue making good decisions. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. 10 days from getting out. Can oh get, my goodness. Celebrate Christmas. Yeah, that's really awesome for mm -hmm. him and all those kids. Well, this event is a partnership between the Correctional Facility and the Salvation Army Ray and Joan Croc Center, which is currently collecting toy, food, and monetary donations. Great.